So if 80% of our ocean is still undiscovered, then what exactly do we know? Hi, my name's Tiff, and I'm here to talk about one of the concepts in the ocean that we are aware of. This is a chemical reaction that occurs in Cetnophoria, also known as comb jellies, the chemical reaction of bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is defined as the biochemical emission of light in living organisms. You may start by asking, so why do these organisms emit light? To start off, the production of this fluorescent light can allow for comb jellies to communicate with one another. Along with that, jellyfish can also use their bioluminescence to defend against predators, as well as startle and entice their prey so they can attack their prey when vulnerable. So how can these comb jellies emit light? Especially when they're living 7,000 meters below the ocean surface or four miles down. In the organs of jellyfish, nerve cells activate the organ, which has an organic substance called luciferin, which is going to be the start of our chemical reaction. With the presence of calcium and oxygen in the water, the enzyme luciferase acts as a catalyst in the reaction and allows oxygen to bind to this luciferin to emit light. One of the most important parts of this reaction is the presence of luciferase, the enzyme that facilitates oxidation of luciferin, or the loss of its electrons. As photons of light are produced from this reaction, the luciferin substance has become oxidized and therefore inactive oxyluciferin. The process of a redox reaction can be remembered through a mnemonic, Leo the lion goes grr. This chemical reaction produces photons of light visibly seen green. This green color is due to a green fluorescent protein produced, but why green? Why not red or yellow like seen in fireflies that produce bioluminescence as a terrestrial animal? This is because colors such as green and blue are able to travel through water without being absorbed, allowing bioluminescence to be visible even at a 7,000 meter depth. Not only is the chemical reaction of bioluminescence useful for comb jellies, it is also used in different adaptations in the medical field. Scientists can now use luminous cells from jellyfish in order to diagnose cancer tumors deep within the human body. Bioluminescence in comb jellies is a part of the 20% of the ocean that has been discovered. So what part of the 80% will we discover next?